Hello everybody, Master Prime here, back with another video, and today we are going to be reviewing Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen, I think it was number 60, Scrapper. Hang on, let me get the box. Here's the box, oh, why is it, well... Here is the box. As you can see, Studio Series 60, Scrapper, Instructicon, Scrapper. Nice artwork there, by the way. And same for every single Constructicon. You can kind of see my reflection in there. Um, but same for every, you know, the backdrop is same. 60 Studio Series, got a nice mug shot of him, and his eyes are blue, which I do like, and it's accurate, and I'm sorry, my dog's barking, um, but as you can see right here, we'll go into further detail, if you can see that right there, he has red eyes, um, but there is the Devastator logo, Devastator right there, the back of the box, and there, it, he transforms in 36 steps. And it's pretty cool. I mean, if I had to say uh, something good about this figure, it would be the overall, these, the, the legs. I like the legs. Just because of the way they put the tires and everything. But yeah, let's take a quick look at the figure in this robot mode. So, right here, as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. His eyes are right there, and there's an ant on him. I didn't know that. Hi, Mr. Ant. You must die. Hang on, let me deal with this ant. Well, that was unexpected, y'all. Um, I guess it's because of all the storms and the rain that the ants come and because they like to do that after it storms it's it's just weird i mean i found them in different places but i've never had one on my figure before yeah. but um yeah this this head sculpt it's really good sometimes i mistake these areas for the eyes instead of right here but uh you know it is what it is and his neck looks good. Um, I mean, underneath looks good too. Like, a there's a rib cage right there. Um, his claw articulation for it. It can move all the way like that because of transformation. It clamps in that far. Other than this, this don't really move except it the arm twists like that and because of transformation it bends like that um but that's basically it for the arms like you know the weapons i'll do articulation later but um here are some smokestacks um and his crotch plate right there um the tires right here, this one does, you know, move. Um, this outside one don't move, but this one does, and I like that. And then, you got the cockpit, whatever you want to call it, canopy, cockpit, whatever. You got the combiner port right there, and side of the leg. But other than that, that is, I, I think this is a really good figure, honestly. Now for some size comparisons. I'm going to go ahead and start us off with, why is it doing that? Um, I'm going to go ahead and start us off with Rodan and Godzilla. Here is Godzilla. And here is Rodan. They're both in my profile picture. 
because those are my two favorite kaiju titans in the whole Godzilla franchise. I don't care what you say. I love Godzilla the most, but second favorite has to be Rodan. But this is not about them. This is about Scrapper. So let's get them out of the way. Here he is with the Lux Class Soundwave for Studio Series in his vehicle mode. Here he is with the custom Nemesis Prime and trailer that I did. Uh, I never made a video on it, but I don't plan on doing it. But yeah, I took the 05 Optimus Prime from Studio Series, Avenger of the Fallen. I painted over it, put some flames right there, put a symbol right there, and then for the trailer, I collected cars back then, and um, I got had this trailer, and I thought, I don't use it, so let's just see if this fits into this, and it actually pr does pretty nicely, but um, it says, your death is my promise prime, on the other side, it says, you're dead prime, uh, but yeah, that's basically it for this. Um, because this is not talking about Nemesis Prime, but I want y'all to rate what you what you think about it in the comment section below. Um, let's go ahead and take out his Constructicon team. Um, if I can get them all, sorry, they're just scattered. Different areas. Good. Hang on there. I'll get it. I'll get it. Um. I'll figure out something quick. And here he is with my construct cons. Um, yeah, I don't own that much because at Walmart, I cannot seem to find my Ferret Constructicon Long Haul. I need High Tower. They do have High Tower there, but the box is damaged. Now, maybe I might get it in, if it, the if figure is damaged inside, I'll take it back. But, um, I really need a High Tower, I really need a Long Haul, and I really need an Overload. And then I'll be able to combine this for you. Um, but they d in the Michael Bay universe, uh, in Revenge of the Fallen, Mixmaster is the leader. Scrapper in G1 was the leader. Now, I honestly, in my opinion, I was never a big fan of Mixmaster. But I think in my stop motion series that I'm going to make um, sometime... If I can get the remaining figures I need, Iron Hide and Bumblebee. Um, but this will be the leader of the Constructicons. I'm, I mean, I think Scrapper should always be the leader of the Constructicons. That's just my opinion. I don't know y'all's, uh, but honestly, I prefer Scrapper over Mixmaster. So let's just get these out of the way. And this, I, I'm, I'm serious now, this is one of the best Constructicons I have, well, I like. Now, when I get Long Haul, that is my favorite, favorite Constructicon of all of them. But this has to come in at my second favorite. But, um, articulation, the arm does bend like that, uh, bends back that far, the, um, shoulder can go out like that, go out like that with that, and then it can go like that. So, for head articulation, it goes that, 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 up okay. that far, down that far, that, that. hush, that? hush. Sorry, that's my brother. Um, and 
the legs, well, there's this hinge that connects the crotch plate to the hips. They can go like that because of transformation, go like that. And his, he can kick out that far. He can kick back that far. And focus, focus camera. And his knee can swivel like that. Because of transformation, this can do that. Because of transformation, that. But that's basically it for articulation. Now let me fix this. That's basically it for articulation. So, let's go ahead and get him into his vehicle mode. So, my brother's playing some sort of game. That's why he keeps on. Playing Pokemon Go and I keep catching Pokemon. That's, that's not, I don't like that game. I don't even like Pokemon. Yeah. Um, but, uh, let's just transform him. So, first thing that I like to do is I like to take these claws, well... You know, and I like to put them like that. Then I like to do this. Let's raise this up. Bend this, like, bend this up like that. Because you, you're one step ahead if you do that. So then you want to come to the, the shoulders. Unpeg them. The tag goes in there right there. And then you just want to lift this up. Then you want to push with your finger like that. And it will take this out. You want to flip the neck and the head in. Close this back. Then you want to collapse this over that. And there will be tabs right there and... Well, slots right there and tabs right there that will go into there. Just make sure it's locked in securely. Then, second thing you want to do is you want to turn the figure over. Do that. And then you want to collapse the shoulder in like that. And then do that. Collapse. Do Hang on. Do that. Now, you want to put the canopy over like that. Then, you want to keep the shoulders like that, but turn the arm on that swivel or mushroom peg. And it should end up looking like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to try to position this the right way. Get that under there. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are tabs right there that will go into those slots right there. You just want to tab those in and Push down that arm. And then tab the other arm in. And once you've done that, that will lock the arms into place. Then what you want to do is there will be tabs right there that will go into those slots right there. And you just want to line it up and tab it in. And it should end up looking like that. So now what you want to do uh, is this this uh, combiner port, don't move that up, will swivel up, and I like to leave it kind of like this, because it's easier when you're going to end up combining it afterward, um, if you're going to have it like that, because it, it will save you one less step. And now, what you want to do is, hang on, let me figure this out. Just get these, 
sort of like that. So you can have some clearance. And then you want to come to the feet. You want to uncollapse this. And then untab that. Then you also want to untab that. Which that will tab in. Right in that slot. Right there. You can't really see it though. And then you just want to put this up. What? If you guys are wondering, um, uh, uh, yes, he, uh, learns how to, uh, transform these transformers, uh, in 15 minutes with his eyes closed. No. Basically. No, that's not how I do it. Well, with your options Prime, you were able to. Kind of. Kind of. But that's a story for next time. Um... Alright, so where were we? You basically... This is the hard part right here, so pay attention. First, let's get this arm. You swivel it like this. Open that up. Wait. Swivel it like this. Open this. And then there is this tab right there that will go into that slot right there. Position it to where it will, will go in there. Oh, and I forgot there's this... uh so, uh, there's a slot on the tab. Tab that in. And then also tab this in. And I don't know why it's coming up all unfocused on the camera. Once you have that, you can work start to work on this now. But once you have this, this is where it gets tricky. You want to put the swivel this up. Then, you want to basically do that. And then, you want to swivel this. Hang on, let me see the position. You want to swivel this, but first you want to collapse that. Because it makes it easier when you're going to do this. I prefer having it out like this. Swivel around. Hang on. Be careful not to break it. Anything. And basically, it should be like that. And then you want to put this down. Now, right here, you want to basically swivel this all the way up. Then, this is free, and you can swivel this. Now, there's a tap right here that will tap into that slot right there. But first, just get this out of the way. And then you can do that. Now, coming here, you want to basically collapse this down. And then swivel at that way. Did I do it right? No, I had it right the first time. Keep that like that. Hang on. Things are untabbing on me. On, off camera, it just likes to be polite, and now it don't. Um, gotta get this right, though. Alright, so. Yeah, it should look like that, and make sure this is right. All this tabbed in. Do the same on the other side. I'll be back when I do. Alright, so once you have that, it should look like this. Then, you just want to keep that down. Then, well, basically just bring this up for right now. And so you can tab. This tab will slide into that slot right there. And I know it don't want to focus any focus and why is it struggling why is it so difficult on camera it just don't want to cooperate right now <sighs> i know i didn't do anything wrong this is how i've been transforming it uh geez it's untabbing that's the reason well whatever it's okay just Slide them in.
into that slot like that. Slide it into that slot. And once you have it like that, it should look like that, and we are done. Now, this is really cool. Uh, articulation. This does move up, if you're wondering. Up and down. And I really do like this. It rolls like rolling things should. And for a size comparison, here you are you going to focus? No. Don't need it like that. Oh my gosh. There. There he is with the regular car. Cut, push. And then here he is with Rodan. And here he is with Godzilla. Some toilet paper. No. Alright. What about the next ultra one? Now hang on just a second, I gotta remember how to transform him into his combined mode. So I'll be back when I do that. So I think I got it. Um but if you haven't already, do the step that I did for if you like if you did you don't have to worry about that. So, what you want to do is you want to come here and untab these. Now, there is a slot right there and a tab down there. Now, you just tab it in like so. Tab in. Hang on. Let me find it. Tab it in like so should look like that now what you want to do is basically untab these if they haven't untabbed already now you want to bring them up turn them like that turn them like that then basically bring them up a little bit and then Basically, do something a little like that. And now for the canopy, hang on. Untab it like that and then leave it like that. And there he is in his combined mode. I'm going to go ahead and combine him with the others. Well, just the. Um, I'll just, uh, I'm not going to combine them. Uh, I will just trans simply transform his, the, the port to show you how it slots in. So, right there you will see it's one of those Combiner Wars slots. And all you have to simply do is slide it in like that. And basically, here's the abomination that I made. Um, I didn't feel like transforming him because it would take too long. Um, and I don't have all day. I still got to edit this and before tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be doing the uh, filming my day because it's going to be for the day in the life. I don't know if you heard about that. But I was invited. <clears throat> Alright, so basically, that is it for that. And I honestly think that this is a really, really cool um, representation of Scrapper from Revenge of the Fallen. Honestly. It's really cool. <clears throat> All right, hang on. I want to do something. I'm wondering something. Will a Power of the Primes figure slot? Okay, this is still in the spotlight. Like Dreadwing, I'm not gonna fully transform him into his arm. 
I just want to see if the port will actually combine. Because then it would be funny to make a video of uh, the Constructicons, but then make it to where it's like different combiners. Alright, let's see. So basically like that, and then slide in. No, it's too thick. Well, it was worth it. It was worth the try. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Pieces.